yes children good morning yes uh, welcome to online class welcome to maths class children yes how are you all yes i hope you all are well yes children do you remember what we have learned in last class yes we have started lesson number 6 that is heavy and light in your studio volume 1 textbook today i will start with page number 84 the same lesson page number 84 activity is 6.9 today is one more new sub activity yes yes can you see this picture in your textbook children yes let me read to you look at the picture what picture you can see here this is a picture in the park yes the boys have put school bag and a water bottle on the two sides of a seesaw have you seen seesaw children in the park how it will be yes seesaw up and down it will move both the sides up and down have you played with this with that yes i hope you have enjoyed playing with seesaw yes here are two boys what they have done here boys have kept their bag on one side and their water bottle on other side you should observe the sides and you should fill up this fill in the blanks below the side with the school bag is dash the side with the school bag is dash school bag is dash here are two options up down school bag is down so you should write here d o w n now the side with water bottle is dash up or down the side with the water bottle is dash is it up or down children yes it is up what we have learned from this fun activity yes we have learned that when we keep the things on seesaw the heavier object will come down and the lighter object will go up here on the seesaw the side having the heavier object has gone down and the side having the lighter object has gone up you can see it clearly in this picture now we will go to page number 85 what picture you can see there children in page number 85 page number 85 yes what is this it is a balance a balance works like a see saw and helps us to find which among two objects is heavier what is this this is a balance can i show you a balance here yes children it is a balance it is work like see so see here up down it works like a see so and helps us to find two objects if we keep two objects here which one is heavier which one is lighter to find that we can use this balance here what they have did here what they have did here they have taken two fruits first one is jackfruit and a banana the jackfruit is heavier than the banana why we, why we can tell that because the side of jackfruit has come down 
and the side of banana has gone up. So the heavier object will come down and the lighter object will go up. The jackfruit is heavier than the banana. The J A C K jack F R U I T fruit. The jackfruit is H E A V I E R heavier than the banana. B A L A L A banana. Here we are comparing jackfruit and banana, and we can tell that the jackfruit is heavier than the banana, and we can even tell like this. Banana is lighter than the jackfruit. Yes. Now here one more. We are comparing here what the brinjal is lighter than the cauliflower. We can see here the side of brinjal has went up. The cauliflower has come down. So the brinjal is lighter than the Flower. Next, here six point ten. The activity six point ten. Can we say? Can we say which is heavier or lighter from the picture? Here, the side of two fruits is showing equal. So, can we tell that? Which one is apple is heavier or pear is heavier? No, we cannot tell. Here, two options for you. So you should pick this no option. Why? Because both the sides are showing equal. So from uh, from this activity, what we can see, what we can learn that we can see that the two sides. Of balance are at the same level. I told you, no children. The two side of the balance are showing equal level. This happens when the objects are as heavy as each other. This happens when when the two objects having same weight. This will happen in the balance. So we can say from this picture that the apple is as heavy as pear. Both are having same weight. That's why we can tell that apple is as heavy as pear. Apple is as heavy as pear. As heavy as Pear, and we can even tell that pear is as heavy as an apple. Yes. Now we will go to page number eighty-six. Now we go to page number eighty-six. And activity is six point eleven. Here a table is there. Objects put on the mats. Objects put on the mats. Balance means this children. We can say this is the last page. This is a balance. Which one is heavier? Which one is heavier? Which one is lighter? Here, two times you have to use the balance. First time you have to take two different objects, and second time also you have to take two different objects. First time. See here, I have a balance here. So first time I am 
using two objects. Which are those two objects? A duster. I am using a duster. And I am using a chalk piece. See here. Chalk piece and duster. A chalk piece and duster. The side of the duster is coming down. It tells that the duster is heavier and the chalk piece is lighter. That only we have to write here. I have taken two things. What are those? Duster. D-U-S-T-E-R. Duster. Chalk piece. D-I-E-C-E. Among these two, which is heavier? Yes, it is a duster. And which is lighter? Chalk piece. D I E C E. Second term, can we take another two objects, children? Yes. Can I use a pencil? Can I use a pencil and a mobile? Yes. Shall I? Let me show you. Yes, it is a mobile. Can I keep the mobile here? Yes. Can I keep a pencil here? No. It did show its weight. See here. The side of the mobile is going down. And the pencil is coming up. It shows that mobile is heavier and the pencil is lighter. Let me write the names of the objects. M O B I L E mobile and P E N C I L pencil. Among these two, which is heavier? Mobile. So, what is mobile spelling? M O B I L E and pencil. P E N C I L Pencil, mobile and pencil. We have compared these two objects. Next, one more dash is there in your book. Which objects weigh as heavy as each other? It means which are the objects having same weight? Think and write, children. Next, 6.2. 12. Which is the heaviest object in your bag? Do, we, do you have school bag children? What are the things you keep in your school bag? Yes, there are books, textbooks, notebooks, compass box. Sometimes you keep your water bottle in your bag. So, think of those objects and write which object is Heavier. Now we come to page number 87. 6.13. 6.13. What do we can see here? A balance already having two sides. One is down and one is up. And we, you can see two pictures near to this. Look at the two objects given near each balance. Draw the correct object in the in the pants. Let me draw a balance. First balance one.
balance one. What are the two um, vegetables are there? One is cauliflower. Another one is brinjal. Yes. So by seeing the position of these two pans, you should draw objects inside it. Yes, it has come down. So when the side is come down, what we should think? Yes, it is having heavier jet. That's why it is down. So which is heavier here? Is it brinjal or cauliflower? Yes, it is cauliflower. So you have to draw a cauliflower here. And it is placed of brinjal. So you should draw a brinjal here. Yes. After this, shall I draw a second balance here? on this? Yes, they are a packet of chocolates and one single chocolate. Where we should keep, where we should draw the packet of chocolates? Here or here? Yes, according to me, I have to draw here because the side is showing down. When we keep heavier object here, then only it will come down. So, I will draw a packet of Chocolates here. And one single chocolate here. Yes. Next stage, we have reached the last page of the lesson. That is Page number 88. Page number 88. Yes. This is the table what we have learnt in this lesson. I will tell you in briefly. Heavy and Right. This is the name of the lesson, that is lesson number 6. In this, what we have learned first? Heavy. Meaning of heavy. H-E-A-V-Y. Heavy. H-E-A-V-Y. Heavy. And heavier. Heavy means the things which have weight. H E A V I E R heavier. When we compare two objects, then we can tell that heavier and lighter. See here, I am using a mobile and a chalk piece. I am comparing here two objects. So, which is heavier? It is a mobile. Yes, I have used the word here heavier. And heaviest, H-E-A-V-I-E-S-T. When we compare more than two objects, then only we can use the word heaviest. Last one is as heavy as. As heavy as means when the two things having same, same weight. See here, I am having two chalk pieces. This and this both are equal weight. So that's why I am using here as heavy as. This top piece is as heavy as this one. Next is with what we have learned one more thing. Light. L-I-G-H-T. Light. Light means with having less weight. Examples for this light weight. Object children. Feather. 
pen paper like this light means having less weight lighter l i g h t e r lighter so when we are comparing two objects then we will use the word lighter lightest l i g h t e r yes we lightest means when we are comparing more than three objects two objects then then we can use the word lightest after this comparison of objects using a balance scale then what finally what we have learned comparison c o m p a r i s i s o n comparison of objects comparison of objects using a balance scale yes comparison of objects using this balance scale these all things we have learned in lesson number 6 and we are light yes now this page what we have to write here i completed the activity on have you completed this activity children i hope all of you have filled up whatever i told during the lesson so i completed the activity on 25 11 12 20 and i enjoyed the activity if yes tick here yes option if no tick the no option yes children with this i have completed your lesson number 6 that is heavy and light yes children tomorrow on 26 you have your maths and english text already we have sent you the class work on your notes on your mobiles we have sent pdf so maths is lesson number 5 is what taking away subtraction lesson children or subtraction yes lesson number 6 is this heavy and light whatever points whatever headings are given to you in this revision papers you have to study all the bits children and one more thing children whatever pdf you have to get you have you will get in your mobile you have to write down in your separate class works evs pdf in your evs class work maths pdf in maths class work you need to write and practice them yes good luck for your tomorrow's coming maths and english class thank you